Welcome to Easy Physiology and Research Pro. Ever wondered how elite athletes seem to breathe fire and conquer mountains? Behind their power lies a biological phenomenon that fuels every cell with oxygen. It is not magic, it is erythropoiesis, and yes, it can be hacked, sometimes unethically. Today, we are diving into the electrifying science and scandal behind red blood cells and performance. Let's go! What is erythropoiesis? Erythropoiesis is your body's red blood cell factory in action. Born in the deep chambers of bone marrow in your ribs, vertebrae, and pelvis, these oxygen couriers are regulated by an intelligent hormonal signal, erythropoietin. Triggered by low oxygen, bleeding, or even high altitude, this hormone instructs the marrow to churn out reticulocytes, which soon mature into erythrocytes. These live for about 120 days, tirelessly delivering oxygen to every corner of your body. Pure biological brilliance. Let's meet the mastermind, erythropoietin or EPO. This game-changing hormone was first isolated in 1977 by Eugene Goldwasser, a milestone in hematology. EPO binds to receptors on erythroid precursors, activating the JAK2 stat pathway, sparking red cell survival and explosive proliferation. But the breakthrough didn't stop there. In 1985, scientists synthesized recombinant EPO. Medical marvel? Absolutely. It became a lifeline for patients with chronic kidney disease or anemia but it also opened the doors for abuse. Enter the dark arts of sports physiology, blood doping. Athletes began injecting synthetic EPO to crank up their red cell count. Some went a step further, storing their own blood and reinfusing it before competitions. Others turned to synthetic oxygen carriers like HBOCs and PFCs. These techniques supercharge oxygen delivery and endurance. Sounds effective? Sure. Sounds ethical or safe? Not even close. What was once science turned into a performance-enhancing scandal? Let's rewind. In the 1980s, Olympic blood doping incidents shook the sports world. The 1990s? A doping epidemic, especially in cycling, think Tour de France. By 2000, detection techniques caught up, thanks to WADA and IOC labs. And in 2009, the biological passport arrived, tracking athletes' blood values over time. The fight between science and cheating had officially begun. But the health consequences, strokes, clots, and heart risks, told the real story of this dangerous game. So where do we draw the line? Erythropoiesis is nature's answer to low oxygen, a life-saving response. Recombinant EPO is a therapeutic miracle in medicine. But misused in sports, it disrupts hemostasis and endangers lives. For future doctors, athletes, and scientists, the message is clear. Respect physiology. Understand the power and never blur the line between healing and hijacking biology. Stay curious, stay ethical, and subscribe to Easy Physiology and Research Pro.